Hey, how's it going? My name is Tinla and welcome to my DIY channel. Um, so I recently finished the build of this Vron 3D printer that I purchased from uh, Fombot uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I just recently finished. Okay, when I go online, I see people putting some sort of like a piece of metal backing on the uh, Y extrusion. And I ask people why, why they have that kind of metal on top of that Y extrusion. And they say that it, it helps them with the deflection, the thermal expansion difference between the steel a linear rail and the aluminum extrusion, okay? So that backing plate, the, you know, titanium backing plate to help prevent it from, uh, you know, going too much uh, deflections. Anyway, so, in this video, I'm going to show you why we don't need it and I don't understand why people uh, use that kind of like uh, backing plate onto their extrusion, okay, because it's going to weight down their gantry uh, and whatnot, but for me, I'm not going to do that 100%. I can sleep it through the night knowing that I don't need it uh, to to uh, prevent it from happening, okay, from, from deflection, uh, thermal expansion. I understand there is like a thermal expansion between two different metals, but to the effect, I mean, it's, it's, it's we're not talking about wood or uh, plastic, okay? That will generate a lot of deflection, uh, but we're talking about steel and aluminum and how much deflection, how much thermal expansion difference between the two kind of uh, materials. I'm gonna show you in this video, okay? Okay, I solid mount the linear rail onto my extrusion with every um, kind of screw that I can find. But on this side, I leave it uh, as, you know, every other screw that I bolted down to see whether there is any uh, difference between, you know, if you mounted every screw or not, okay? First of all, let's establish my baseline. Okay, so now it's zero thou. Okay, you can see the screen, zero, maybe, maybe not, but let's let move it to zero. Go to the middle, check it. It's also zero. Go to over this side. It's, uh, I don't know, it's 2,000 of an inch. The same thing, 50 microns, 0 0.05 millimeters, uh, you know, kind of difference uh, with this kind of setup. I mean... I mean, the, I already show you the linear rail is not, uh, it's not like like 100% flat. The extrusion is not 100% flat. So that's how you see it. Uh, the um, it's shown on the on the thing. So most uh, people don't have the equipment to test for flatness of these things. So, so I just showing you 50 microns already at the room temperature. Uh, okay. So 22 degrees, I'm gonna heat it up to like 60 degrees, 70 degrees, and see is there any difference uh, with, with this kind of flatness, okay? Okay, what I have set up here is a surface plate, again, with my extrusion, aluminum extrusion, bolted down onto the linear rail that I showed you earlier, a solid mount onto the extrusion, and I got my uh, cooking pan over here. Um, let's see the temperature. It's about 80, 62, and let's check the temperature of the aluminum. It's about uh, 29, 30 degrees Celsius, okay? So, and I'm gonna show you the baseline, first of all, before I cooking this thing up, okay? At zero, you can see, go to the middle. It's also showing you 1,000 to 2,000 of an inch, 50 microns difference uh, from the extrusion already. So there you go. Okay, so you can see the difference, the baseline. Okay, now let's cook it up. This is the 130 uh, C Celsius, okay, for my uh, cooking pan and check the temperature of my uh, aluminum. So it's showing you 42 degrees, 47, 52, maybe here. 40 degrees on the aluminum extrusion. Let's test it and see the, uh, any anything different okay let's set at zero here at zero go to the middle it's three thousand of an inch 
different. Okay, so let's go to this side. It's about 3,000 of an inch difference. Okay, it's 2,000 of an inch from the baseline. So it's, it's, it's changing. I, I don't disagree with uh, thermal expansion, bimetal th thermal expansion. I don't disagree with it. Okay, let's cook it. I see some smoke coming out. Let's check the temperature. It's 220 degrees Celsius, okay, for the cooking pan. And check the temperature on my aluminum extrusion. It's 60 something degrees, okay, 63 on the aluminum. Okay, 50, 60, okay, yeah, so that 260 degrees Celsius on the, on the cooking pan. So let's measure if there's anything movement. All right, check this. Okay, let's set that zero over here. If I don't, I don't know if you can see it, zero over here. Let's go to the middle. Okay, so that's the difference there. 1,000 or 2,000 of an inch over here. It's about 2,000 of an inch. I don't see any movement or any change. Okay, so let's see how hot my cooking pan is. At 240, 250, okay. Somewhere around that region, 250 degrees Celsius, yes. And let's check the temperature of my aluminum. It's about 85, 80, so something. It feels warm to touch it. I mean, oh, it's, it's kind of warm. Let's test it. It's 80 something Celsius, degrees Celsius, as you can see. And over here, you can see it's about 50 degrees Celsius. The difference between here, it's 90 and then 50, 40 degree difference between the middle and the outside, okay? And I expect some bowing uh, on the aluminum extrusion. So let's test it on my calibrated um, equipment measuring equipment so that zero I set up on my dial test indicator at that one end go into the middle okay I got four thousand of an inch of difference between that end to this end so like 0 0.1 millimeters uh, of difference okay let's move on to this thing so this one about two thousand of an inch so like 50 micron actually a zero yeah not bad there you go in the middle four thousand Okay, that's so zero. So, as you can see, there is some bowing onto the aluminum extrusion. Now it's warm, very hot, hotter than your 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 chamber for sure. But if it's, let's turn it down. Let's, all right, unhook my my cooking pot. And at 50 degrees, I don't see anything anything that really affecting um, you know kind of like uh, bowing bowing onto the aluminum extrusion this is like extreme okay so I can see that 0.1 millimeters uh, of difference I don't disagree there will be some thermal expansion between two different metals I totally agree but then again the difference doesn't make any sense it been it's I mean it's um, it's really hard to touch now I mean if I turn it upside down let's see on this end it's, it's not so bad at all okay let's measure the um, the let's measure this the, uh, the okay the middle okay I got it a zero there so let's see the difference in the middle here it's get hot so now it's lower so it meaning that that your part is like this okay so it's lower 4,000 uh, of an inch lower 0 0.1 millimeters on this end check this end okay so that is uh, zero thou zero thou here zero thou lower in the middle meaning that it's actually yes it confirm it's 0 0.1 uh, changing a hundred microns but this is extreme this is so hot this is so hot the cooking plate I turned off the electrical already but this thing is so hot Okay, so the middle, the linear rail is 65 degrees Celsius. Okay, and the aluminum is a hundred and some, okay, the aluminum, I don't know. Let's check this thing here. A 43, 40. So the aluminum is already about 70 something degrees Celsius. 60, 70.
Okay, 60 degree or 70 degree Celsius for the aluminum. Okay, as you can see. All right, but the uh, steel itself, now the steel itself is like 100. Wow, that's so hard. 60 over here, but this one hot. It's really hard to touch now, right? It's, it's, so this is the extreme case that you have to worry about 0.1 millimeters uh, of difference. There is some expansion, uh, thermal expansion between the two different metals. Okay, so, but not much of the difference, okay, that I have to worry too much about. Um, and as you can see, it's the, um, the result, as you can see, the result is just only about uh, 2,000 of an inch. Uh, it's, it's 2,000 of an inch is 50 microns. Okay, the extrusion itself is also has a tolerance of 50 microns of flatness, and I consider that it is pretty flat. Some extrusion is not flat at all. And when, when people say that their extrusion is flat, and they put it onto the class table, and they claim that, okay, that's, that's flat. Okay, so the class table is not flat, okay? I can guarantee you, your any class table or any kitchen countertop, okay, they're not flat, period. And some people say that, okay, they put it on to the countertop, their extrusion, and they can see the light shining through it. Maybe their, their countertop is just not flat and their extrusion is flat and that's why you see the light shining through it, you know, who knows. So, but if you have to have uh, the calibrated surface blade, you can tell. But other than that, not anything that around your home has that kind of flatness to check for the extrusion or the linear rail itself. Okay, so, so I mean, everything has a tolerance. And the extrusion has a 50,000, I mean, 50 microns uh, of flatness. And the linear rail itself is also about 12 microns flatness. And I consider them pretty good. If you want a, like a zero, like zero tolerance flatness on the linear rail, you got to pay a lot of money. You got to pay tons of money on that linear rail. And you just pay these linear rails from China like twenty dollars or something, and you you assume that it's just so flat. No, it's not flat at all. So you want to control uh, fifty micron thermal expansion on your linear rail at a hundred degrees. Uh, I heat it up a hundred degrees. So that's the law. I mean, my chamber temperature can never go up to fifty degrees Celsius. I, I don't know. I, I have it like this. And I run it just fine. It's printed ABS. I have no issue with it. As you can see, I'm printing out some kind of like, uh, you know, for uh, from my raw machine uh, to get a serial numbers. But anyway, that's another story. But I can guarantee you, I can sleep well, really well at night, without having to worry about uh, the linear backing plate for my extrusion. Okay, that's it's a lot of money, and it's it weighing down your gantry, and it's it's not worth it. To, to consider it you know sometimes you know you just have to um, pay not much attention to it okay so there's the result that you can see and hopefully you like the videos and if you like the videos please give a thumb up I really appreciate it and if you have the extra money okay go buy some measuring tool I post the link down in the description go get some really good tool like me tutorials and whatnot you know measure it's 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 better to throw the money onto something that is either bad or good. We don't really know. Okay. So anyway, so I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye for now.